Now, considering the transverse section of the beam, we are going to have a, a figure like this here. We are going to come up with a figure like this here along the transverse section of the beam. Now, we are going to consider an elemental strip here, which I have shaded it in this form. Then we have the neutral layer or the neutral axis. The area of this elemental strip, this shaded part, is DA, whose distance from the neutral axis is Y. Therefore, the normal force on this area, normal force, that is F, on this area, is going to be given by stress multiplied by area. Remember, force is given by stress times cross-sectional area. And therefore, the normal force on this area will be given by stress multiplied by the area of the elemental strip. Now, from the relation, stress over Y is equal to Young's modulus of elasticity divided by the radius. When we make stress the subject of this equation, we are going to have stress is equal to Young's modulus of elasticity divided by the radius multiplied by y. Therefore, we substitute this into, we substitute this stress here with E of R multiplied by Y. Therefore, the normal stress on the elemental, on the area of the elemental strip is going to be E over R multiplied by Y times the area of the elemental strip. Now, the moment of force which in this case is about the neutral axis the moment of force about the neutral axis will be given by load or force multiplied by distance remember moment is given by force times distance from the force or from the point of action of the force all the way up to a section under consideration or a point under consideration. Therefore, the moment of force about the neutral axis, about the neutral axis, is going to be given by the force, which in this case is E over R times Y times area of the elemental strip multiplied by the distance. The distance from the area of the elemental strip up to the neutral axis is y. Therefore, it's distance, which in this case is y. Now, the moment of force about the neutral axis will now be given by Young's modulus divided by radius times y times y. That is y squared times the area of the elemental strip. Now, from there, we are going to have the total moment of force. Actually, this moment of force, in other words, that is what we call the moment of resistance that is produced as a result of the stress. The moment of the resistance about the neutral axis which comes up or which exists as a result of the stress produced. Therefore, there is a resisting moment there. Therefore, um, the total resisting moment will now be given by 
summation of e over r multiplied by y squared times dA. Total summation about the neutral axis. Yeah? Now, this one we can rewrite it as e over r. Let's just bring in e over r uh, at this point here. Multiplied by summation of y squared times area of the elemental strip. Now, this summation of y squared times the area of the elemental strip, we call it the second moment of area about the neutral axis or in other words the moment of inertia about the neutral axis and therefore that is moment of inertia about the neutral axis and therefore we are going to substitute i with all that therefore the Total resisting moment will be given by E over R multiplied by all this summation of Y squared times D is the moment of inertia about the neutral axis. Now, this one can be rewritten as moment. That is M all over the moment of inertia, which is I being equal to Young's modulus of elasticity divided by the radius. Therefore, therefore, the bending equation, the bending equation will now be given by moment total resisting moment that is m all over the moment of inertia which is i being equal to young's modulus of elasticity divided by the radius of curvature which is also equal to stress all over y stress all over y that is from that and therefore ladies and gentlemen this is what we call the bending equation and this is from a topic that is known as the theory of simple bending therefore ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching our video Please don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell. See you in our next lesson. Thank you. Thank you.